welcome planeteers first of all apologies the sound quality on this video will be very low because my mic has given up on me on the last moment and i'm just using this smartphone microphone to uh, record this so bear with me and i have a very interesting topic for you today and a short one at that so let's get into this so in this video we're going to discuss about that one medium that shapes our personality more than any other medium because it delivers an overall package of visuals, sounds, thoughts and words to completely stimulate our mind. So much so that they are instrumental in shaping the personality of an individual. And a fair estimate of a person's characteristics can be made by the content they lap up, be it the characters they relate with which eventually define the ideologies a person follows to the words one uses in a language. It is common to see dialogues and pop culture references replacing metaphors and idioms in day-to-day -day life and this makes me ask two questions. Despite being the most lavish and strenuous art form out there, why aren't movie screenplays considered worthy enough to be part of literature? And second one that follows is that in the last 20 years of Nobel Prize for Literature, is there really no script or screenplay ever produced that is worthy of this prize? and fulfills the criteria laid out by Alfred Nobel that states that the aim of the Nobel Prize of Literature is to recognize the person who in the field of literature produced the most outstanding work in an idealistic direction. Regarding the first film, I'll give one name and this debate will be settled once and for all. It's not going to be a long argument because this man represents in the modern world the epitome of literature, whose work even after 400 years is recreated time and again to reflect the modern society. And yet, his most powerful work, popular works were not what you call traditional forms of literature. No points for guessing, I am talking about the legendary William Shakespeare. And I know he wrote poems as well which were immensely popular, but it was his place for the stage meant for the theatre audience that captured the imagination of the people then and continues to inspire till date. Isn't his work the gold standard of what good literature is? And aren't movies a modern version of a stage play? Shakespeare would himself was frustrated by the limits and foundations of the physical stage at that time that would constrain and anchor down his creativity. And now finally, when that anchor has been lifted and a broader canvas with no practical limits to creativity is now available to be filled with vividity, why does it not get the status it commands? This after the fact that most of the books written today's time eventually aim to be somehow be represented on silver screen, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings series and so many others. While all of these were immensely famous books, but what they eventually achieved after being turned into visual masterpieces cannot be matched. That is why, even till late, we continue to tread their universe looking for spin-offs because of trust for that world goes unsatiated. And after thousands of movies that have made us cry, laugh, disgust, angry, and have touched our lives and our minds in so many ways, we don't find epic works being studied as literature. Which is sad to be honest. Because the script is the core on which this visual spectacle is built. And as someone who has written his fair share of scripts, I can assure you a movie screenplay is a complete form of work. That other than that has the other format integrities and can compete with the best novels out there in terms of the scope of what imagination it invokes in the reader. It is equally a wholesome experience. And a good start for this would be accepting movie screenplays good enough to be awarded the Nobel Prize of Literature. Because right now, how things stand, the Swedish committee comes across as an elitist, change phobic group that continues to sail against the tide of time and change. This is blatantly evident because it is continues to award screenwriters but recognizes them as novelists, completely disregarding their accomplished in screenplay writing, example being, and of course there are many writers who have won Nobel Prizes, also wrote screenplays, but none of those honorees worked first and foremost as screenwriters. William Faulkner, for example, scribed dozens of movies for Hollywood studios, but he cited by the Swedes specifically for his powerful and artistically unique contribution to the American novel. Kazuo Ishiguro, likewise an occasional screenwriter, was singled out for his novels of great emotional force. While the committee continues to accept that it needs to widen its horizon towards non-conventional form of literature, there is nothing concrete that has been done in this regard. Some have argued screenwriting is simply to collaborate in an art form 
for the nobles to honor a single author of a film especially since dialogue can be improvised by the director or actors on set but fiction can also be widely collaborative and anyway other organizations have managed to hand out screenwriting awards for decades it seems strange for screenwriters alone to be dismissed outright on this ground while many of the same concerns can be raised with nobel winning playwrights like eugene o'neill or harold pinter perhaps it still comes down to seriousness the nobel prize in literature has been in flux for several years no longer can it award writers without the fear of scrutiny and critique either for being too pretentious and obscure or too crowd pleasing or too controversial or otherwise just plain disappointing purists would roll their eyes if a lowly screenwriter won the most prestigious literary award in the world even so it seems silly to float that explanation in 2022 when you can discover some of the years best writing on your tv and when film criticism can be just as fraught snobby and elitist as any traditional literary debate after all as alfred hitchcock once said to make a good film you need three things the script the script and the script and certainly there have been good great films in the past 12 decades nobel recognition of these writers is long overdue i hope you liking this content but it somehow somehow pains me to see that after 140 odd videos of content that is actually worth something i only have what around 12 subscribers right now while it would have been so much easy to do this if i had just copied content and posted movie scenes or reactions or produced cringe content that would have had no value to life sad reality but i'm not going to complain any further if you're liking this content please like share and subscribe and let's keep this conversation going live long and prosper